Good morning and howdy everybody. I am still down on the Texas Gulf Coast. Don't know when I'm going to go back to Kansas. I'm having a good time here. The thunderstorms that Texas Gulf Coast is so famous for are starting in about 30 minutes and they're going to last three or four days. Just really torrential downpours or forecast for the rest of today from about 8 to 8.30 on for the rest of the day. So it's going to be a stay inside and try to stay dry kind of day down here on the Texas Gulf Coast for the next three or four days. I don't know when I'm going to go back home to Kansas yet, but for right now I'm really having fun, seeing friends, I'm working my rear off, <laughs> but I guess that's good for me. I had loaned my truck out to a friend for a couple of days whose vehicle was in the shop, and so I was kind of stuck here, and that was kind of boring, but you got to do what you got to do to help friends, and that's what I've been doing <laughs> ever since I got here. But I love people. Y'all know that. I love people. And God has blessed me in so many ways. And I don't take those blessings for granted. I thank Him for everything. And y'all, today is Thanksgiving. I wish you all a very happy Thanksgiving. And I pray that you stop long enough to reflect on this holiday that only America has because America has so much to be thankful for. America is so messed up now because of sin in this world, in this country, but even so we still have a lot to thank God for. And I'm not talking about all the stuff that you have because the stuff you have is worthless. What I'm talking about is eternal life with Jesus in heaven. Do you have that? Are you thanking him for that? That should be number one on our list of giving thanks to God every day. What Jesus did for us, what he's doing for us, every time that heart in your chest beats, every time the mouth on the front of your face takes a breath, Jesus is blessing us. And most people takes that for granted. You can't take anything for granted, friends. I have been back down here on the Texas Gulf Coast for six days. One week ago today, I left Kansas to come back to Texas. So I've been here six days because I didn't get here till tomorrow, a week ago. And friends, I have had the mothers of three of my friends die since I was here. And yesterday I found out a man who is a good friend of mine died. That's four people in less than a week. Do you know when your last breath is going to be taken? No, you don't. We all pretty much take it for granted that we're going to have another breath. But someday, and nobody knows when that day is, you're going to breathe your last breath. One millisecond after you breathe your last breath, it is going to be too late to accept Jesus Christ as your Lord and your Savior. Friends, today is a day of salvation. 
Salvation is God's gift to us through his Son, Jesus Christ, who was the sacrifice on the cross for all of our sins. And it doesn't matter how many sins you've had. It doesn't matter how bad those sins are. Jesus' blood is powerful enough to wash them away, to totally erase them for all eternity. When God looks at you and your life through the blood of Jesus, he sees holiness in you. There's no way on God's green earth that you or me or anyone else could achieve holiness on our own. We are commanded to be holy as God is holy. And the only way that is possible is to have Jesus Christ as our Lord and Savior. I pray that if you are not a true, honest to goodness Christian, that today you ask Jesus into your life. That takes faith. It takes faith to believe that Jesus is God, that he did die on the cross for your sins, that he did not stay dead, but he arose from the dead three days later, just as prophecy in the Old Testament had said he would do, and that he ascended into heaven and is alive today, and he will speak with you. He will answer your prayers if they are in accordance to his will. And if you're a true Christian, your prayers will be in accordance to his will for your life. And you will know what his will for you is. It's not something that he's going to keep a secret. Matter of fact, all throughout the Bible, he tells us, to obey him and we are to obey him he said if you love me keep my commandments that my friend is his will his plan for your life we were created for one purpose the purpose we were created is to glorify God and the only way we can do that is through Jesus Christ. So friends, when you give thanks today, thank him for Jesus. Thank him for Jesus every day. When you're driving down the road, sitting in a conference, wherever you're at, whatever you're doing, remember your heart. Bing, 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 bing. Remember your mouth. Every breath, every heartbeat is a gift to you from God because he wants you glorifying him with every breath and with every heartbeat. So friends, don't take God for granted. Don't take Jesus for granted. Don't take the power of Jesus' blood for granted. Believe in it all because it all is true. It's all in the Bible in multiple places. And the Bible is God's holy word. It cannot lie. The Bible proves itself true. Soon I hope to do a video on prophecies, end time prophecies that have recently happened or that are in the pro uh, process of happening right now. I've got them written down. I just need to do the video. And I did a video a couple of days ago that YouTube took down. Several of you, quite a few of you commented on it and wished me happy Thanksgiving on it. I saw the comments, but YouTube removed that video. And the only thing, and I, that video was about faith in God. And the only thing I can think about that I did said in that video was I made remark about my opinion what I would not do if 
a certain thing was mandated before you could use a certain mode of transportation to go somewhere. All I did was voice my opinion on what I would not do if such a mandate ever became reality. And I guess that's what they took it down for. I don't know. But anyway, I've got a couple of scriptures for you here. And I'll write these in the description box below so you can refer to them. And there are many, many, many hundreds and hundreds of similar scriptures in God's Holy Word. But I'm just going to share two passages with you today. They're basically the same thing. And it's basically what I've already told you. But I want to read from God's Holy Word. First is in First Chronicles chapter 16, verses 34 and 35 it says oh give thanks to the lord for he is good for his mercy endures forever and say save us O god of our salvation gather us together and deliver us from the gentiles to give thanks to your holy name to triumph in your praise. And we, most of us, most of my friends, are Gentiles. And here they were asking to be delivered from the Gentiles. <clears throat> now there are more Gentiles that are Christian than there are anybody else. Now the Gentiles need to be delivered from a lot of evil. And you know what I'm talking about, and I'm not going to elaborate. This prayer made in First Chronicles is as applicable or more applicable <coughs> for us today than it was back in the days of First Chronicles. All right, the second passage I'm going to read to you from is Psalm <clears throat> chapter 107. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm just going to read the first verse. Uh, The whole chapter is good, so y'all might want to read the whole 107th chapter of Psalms. But I'm going to give you the first verse. It says, Oh, give thanks to the Lord, for he is good, for his mercy endures forever. Bam. Friends, don't do your thanking to God only on Thanksgiving. Seriously. You know, we are commanded to pray without ceasing, and that is possible. I have learned how to do that. Even when we're having a conversation with a friend, in our mind, we can be praying in the Spirit to God, and I do. We have so much to be thankful for. We are very blessed. And I don't care what predicament you're in, what troubles there are in your life, what your financial situation is, what your job situation is. I don't care. It doesn't matter. We still have a lot to be thankful for. So I pray you just hush and listen to God. Be still and know that I am God. I think that's, let me see where that is. I think it might be in that same chapter I just read. Let me look here. It's not. I can't remember where it is. It's in Psalms. 
but it's be still and know that I am God. That means shut up. Stop the foolishness in your life. Go to your prayer closet and listen for God's still small voice and talk to him. Talk to him just like you talk to your best friend. He should be your best friend. He wants to hear from you. He loves you. He cares for you. But you need to develop a two-way communication with him and be in communication with him all the time because he is in control of your life. He is control in control of every breath you take. He is in control of every beat your heart makes. So I would suggest you be in communication with that person, with that God who controls every breath you take and every beat that your heart makes and be sure you are walking on that little tiny narrow path that leads to eternal righteousness in heaven and not be on the broad highway that most people are on that leads to an eternity in hell. Stay on the narrow path headed to heaven. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and be saved. Doesn't matter how many sins you got. Doesn't matter how nasty those sins are. Jesus' blood is powerful enough to eradicate them all from your life for all eternity. Believe on Jesus and be saved. Friends, y'all enjoy the day. I hope you're with family. I am with some very dear friends that I thank God are in my life. They're precious people. And <clears throat> we're going to have a feast. We started cooking yesterday. And we're going to finish this morning. And I've got a friend that has a big, long smoker. Matter of fact, I'm going to use the picture of that smoker as my thumbnail picture for this video. It, it fills up his whole driveway. He actually has got two of them. And he does a lot of barbecuing and a lot of smoking for big events around here. And this guy is young. He's probably in his mid-30s or so. <clears throat> and this is not his full-time job. He works construction out at one of the uh, chemical plants for his regular job. This is just something he does on the side and a lot of what he does, he does for free because he loves helping people. He's a good guy. And he's smoking my turkey for me. And I don't like turkey, but he says that he guarantees I will like this turkey. And I believe him. I have eaten smoked meats, other kinds of smoked meats that he's cooked before, and they were absolutely delicious. And I think I'm going to like the turkey, even though I don't like turkey. I'm actually looking forward to tasting the turkey that he's cooking for me. And we have a big ham. And we have all kind of stuff, all the traditional uh, Thanksgiving entrees. And I am cooking a lot of them. I cooked a lot yesterday. I'm not cooking the pies this time, but I'm cooking just about everything else. And I'm fixing to get ready and head over there and we're gonna do some more cooking and do a lot more talking and do a lot more hugging and just doing things that friends do and I got friends in Kansas that are checking on me but I chose to come home to the Texas Gulf Coast for Thanksgiving and I don't know how long I'm gonna be here I'd said I was gonna head back on Monday but I don't think I will I'll probably stay longer but I don't know Anyway, that's it for now. I hope this video doesn't get deleted. My first YouTube video was two years ago on Thanksgiving Day. And I've done around 650 videos since then. Don't know when the next one will be. I've got stuff that God has given me to give you. And I forgot and left my tripod in Kansas, so... 
the camera is sitting on a coffee table and on top of that coffee table is a boot box, a box that some of my cowboy boots are in. On top of that boot box is a wrap, you know, one of those mini blankets that you cover yourself with on the couch while you're sitting on the couch. I bought it to take back to Kansas for the cold days that I'm just sitting around on the couch. On top of that blanket is my Yeti, my tall uh, Yeti mug and the camera is sitting on top of the blanket leaning against the Yeti mug. <laughs> so, so that's my tripod for right now. It's a redneck kind of tripod, but it's doing the job. So bam, there you go. Y'all enjoy the day with your friends and family. Remember what we have most to be thankful for, and that is for Jesus. Thank God for Jesus. Not just today, but every day. Let Jesus be the most important gift in your life. Because he is. He loves you. And he wants your love. And he wants your obedience. So make an oath to God today to follow Jesus, to let him into your heart, to let him be the Lord of your life. That is my prayer for you. And I don't care who you are. I have areas in my obedience to him and in my following him I need to improve on. And I bet you do too. He is worthy. He is very worthy. Bam. Talk to y'all later.